Hello and welcome to week three of the APUSH Bootcamp. Here is the summary of the group meeting for those of you who are um, learning alongside online. So as usual, we're going to review the goals and the tasks, and then I'll talk about the reading discussion, a new note-taking strategy with a graphic organizer. I will explain the practice with the doc analysis and the multiple choice practice, and then I will introduce the LEQ. So your goals this week, we have quite a few objectives that we're hitting. So explain how and why Native American perspectives and Europeans developed and changed. And then going back to the, um, the very first objective where you explain the context for European counters. And then the very last objective for period one, which is the effects of the development. So those are your period one objectives. And we are wrapping up that unit this week. And then we're moving on to unit two, where you're going to tackle the very first objective, explaining the context of colonization, and then how and why various European colonies were similar and different. And then finally, kind of more of our skill-based objective, we want to understand the structure of the long essay question. Your tasks were to finish the first chapter of AMSCO, pages 9 through 12, and then to read Taylor chapters 5 and 16. You are finishing your FBI notes for period 1, you're continuing with your postings on Padlet, and then you have quite a few objectives that you are tackling. And then finally, I want you to complete a thesis statement and a basic outline of a long essay question. So as usual, this is the part that's difficult to replicate online, but here are our reading questions, specifically looking at the cultural conflicts and misunderstandings that took place, the causes and effects of the transatlantic voyages. That's kind of your big bucket item for period one. And then beginning to look into period two, how are European colonies similar and different? And to continue this conversation effectively, um, I am linking this graphic organizer for you, which is going to be a super helpful study tool when it comes time to the AP exam. So this is a colonization graphic organizer where you're looking at the four main European powers that had conquests in North America, the Spanish, the French, the Dutch, and the British. So what you want to do is you want to describe what region they are located in, what were their main imperial goals, what was characteristics of life and culture in that area? And then what was the impact on American Indians? So this is a super helpful way to organize a huge amount of information. And it can be really useful when you want to compare. And that is the goal of this objective is to be able to tell similarities and differences. When possible, include your specific evidence. So then we move on to the primary source practice. And this primary source is a letter from Hernan Cortez. And so this is a really great way to start looking at point of view. So you want to think about who is Hernan Cortez. He was a Spanish person, not a Native American. Who was he writing to? He was writing to the king. How is that going to change the way that he is writing? Would it be different if he was writing a letter home to, say, his friend who stayed in Spain? Um, and you want to think about what is his purpose? What is he? What is his goal here? And how does that affect the way that he's writing? So I like using this primary source as a way to discuss point of view. So make sure to pay special attention to that when reading this one. And then next, we have a multiple choice practice. And this is moving into period two. So you're looking at early French interactions with American Indians. And so you want to look at what's happening in the source and then review the questions. And remember, they don't just use the information from the source, but also use information based on your readings in order to answer these questions. So next and last, we are going to introduce the LAQ. So this is the final part of the exam, and it accounts for 15% of your total score. What happens on this part of the exam is that you have to write one essay, but you're given a choice of three. So the and question one is considered to be the DBQ. So for question two, it will take place sometime in periods one through three. Three will cover four through six, and then question four covers seven through nine. So what happens is you're given a topic from each of those periods, but it usually uses the same skill in each question. 
Typically on the LEQ, this is from the 2021 free response questions. The LEQ, the average score out of six points has um, in 2021 was 2.72. So on question two, that was 3.2. On question three, it was 1.8. In question four, it was 2.3. So it definitely varies based on question and how, um, how challenging of a topic it is. But just so you know, if you are hitting three out of six points, you are typically going to be doing a little bit above the global average on the LEQ. So here are the questions from 2021. Um, if you read two, three, and four, you can see that they are both hitting the skill of causation. They just are from different time periods. So here's your rubric, and we are not going to be explaining all of these today. We are going to continue to go through them throughout the weeks here this summer. But your thesis and claim, that's worth one point. You're going to do something called contextualization, which is kind of setting the stage for your essay. That is typically done in the introduction. That's also a point. Evidence is probably the easiest ways to earn points on the LEQ. And that's going to be, you have two opportunities, two points there. And analysis and reasoning, those are the two challenging points. And um, those are less frequently earned by students. So what we're going to start by focusing on this week and next week is going to be evidence and thesis. And that gets you three out of six, which, as I mentioned, would be above this class, uh, the global average. So the LEQ that you guys um, were to practice on this week was to evaluate the extent to which transatlantic voyages in the period from 1491 to 1607 affected the Americas. So what I wanted you to do was to write your basic thesis statement so that I could see where we are starting out, choose three body paragraph topics, and then provide some evidence for those paragraphs. What we are then gonna do at the group session is we are gonna read a sample essay. So the sample essay is, um, it's a little more than two pages. And what I want for you to do is read the sample essay and as you read it to underline what you think is the thesis statement. As you read each body paragraph in the margins, write what you think the topic is, and then highlight the specific evidence in one color, and then the explanation of the evidence in another color. So that's all we're going to do to start learning about the LEQ and to um, begin shifting from short answer questions to our longer essay questions. Um, all of those items are linked in Google Classroom as usual. So to finalize, remember, complete your initial posts on Padlet by Wednesday, your replies by Saturday, complete your period one FBI notes, add to your objectives. So period one should be done now and then begin period two and then your basic LEQ outline. Those are your assignments for this week. Please, as always, let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing what you are able to accomplish on this early essay.